He was full of this love of God. That's why he was a man of peace. Because peace is the fruit of love. And he loved as God loved. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. I'm very honored to be here with you today to celebrate with you the feast of your patron, San Francis of Assisi. We are uh, here to celebrate a feast of a saint, Saint Francis. But do the saint need to be celebrated here on earth? They are already in heaven with Jesus, with Mary, with all the saints. Do they need our feast? It's not that we are celebrating them, but we ask them to help us to go where they are. St. Francis is in heaven. When we pray, we are asking him, help us to go where you are in heaven. And how we can go to heaven? If we become holy, saint, but somebody would say, oh, saint is just for special people like St. Francis, like the Virgin Mary, like all the very known saints, maybe we have their names. But the Holy Father, Pope Francis, wrote a letter to all the Christians recently and said to them, all of you are called to be saints. We are frequently tempted to think that holiness is only for those who can withdraw from ordinary affairs and to spend much time in prayer. That is not the case. We are all called to be holy by living our lives with love and by bearing witness in everything we do, wherever we find ourselves. Are you called to be consecrated? Be holy by living your commitment with joy. Are you married? Be holy by living and care for your husband or wife as Christ does for the church. Do you work for a living? Be holy by laboring with integrity and skill in the service of your brothers and sisters. Are you in a position of authority? Be holy by working for the common good and renouncing personal gain. Where did St. Francis started to become holy? He was of a rich family. He thought when he was young to be famous in waging wars against the enemies and in battle he was taken prisoner and was in jail. And during this time he had a companion who had a small gospel. And during the time he was in jail, he started reading the gospel, the life of Jesus. And then, little by little, he changed his mind. And at the end of his life, he made a testament and he wrote like that. I will read what he written. The Lord granted me, Brother Francis, 
to begin to do penance in this way. Why I was in sin? It seemed very bitter to me to see lepers. These people who were sick and they had to stay out of the city, not to get the other contaminated. And the Lord himself led me among them and I had mercy upon them. The Lord told him, go, stay with them. And there is an episode that he saw a leper and he went and he kissed him. Very dangerous, but he kissed him. After being with them, which seemed bitter to me, was changed into sweetness of soul and body. And afterward, I lingered a little and left the world. That was the beginning of his conversion. And if we want to be Saint, we have to learn to be at peace with ourselves. But how to be at peace? Just not caring for ourselves only, but for the others who are suffering. Peace is the fruit of love. And he loved as God loved. So he was at peace with him, with him himself. It was at peace with all the people. It was at peace with God. But it was at peace also with nature. Nasa pagpapatawad ang kapatawaran. Nasa pagbibigay ang pagtanggap. At nasa pagkamatay ang pagsilang sa buhay na walang hanggan. The essence of the set phrase is dying to oneself for the benefit of many. O sa ating sariling wika, ito ay ang pagkakait sa sarili para sa kabutihan ng marani. Make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is, there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life.